everybody. Okay, so this read here is going to be an updated read on Joshua Bohannon. Now, we do know that Joshua has been found. His remains have been found. Um, I cannot give out any information regarding that yet. I don't have the family's permission to do that. Um, but he has been found. And they have some specific questions that they want answered. So this is what we are going to do. We're going to ask the question and we're just going to let the cards can come out as they may. Uh, we're not going to wait for them to be popping out of the deck. We are just going to take them as they come and see what we get from Spirit to let us know um, the answers to these questions. One does pop out, we are going to take it because that means that it's something um, specific that he does want people to know. So I'm going to ask if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down here. Hit the notification bell so you're made aware when I do updated reads and new reads and when I go live. And also, please share this out where you can and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. So let's get started. Joshua Bohannon. I'm going to ask my ancestors, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, please connect with Jonathan Bohannon. His family has specific questions they would like you to answer if you can, or if you will. We ask that you give us what you feel needs to be told. Okay, so the first question we are going to ask is, is the person who found Joshua Bohannon, is the person who found him involved with his death? Is the person who found Joshua Bohannon's remains, is he or she involved with his death? Confusion. Choices. Many choices and uncertainty. Shamanic healer. Cleansing and attunement. We don't read these in the reverse. An eternal spirit. Higher self. Sacred intuition. I've got uncertainty. There's a lot of confusion around whether he or she, um, whoever found, I won't say he or she, I'll just say whoever found Joshua, there's a lot of confusion around if that person was involved. I think you need to look into that person deeper though, because I've got some cleansing and higher self here, which tells me, um, I think that, I don't think that this person, if you want my honest opinion, I do not think that this person was actually involved with what happened to Josh. I don't think he was involved in Josh's death, but he may know the people that are Um, and I think that they're trying to keep that secret. I do believe that this person may know or has come to know who did it. Moving on and letting go. So whoever did this, um, has moved on and is letting go of this whole situation. Um, hidden truth and something unknown. Yeah, I do believe that um, whoever this was that found him does know who did it. Um, the person who did it um, has actually gained a lot of freedom by this. Uh, freedom, moving on, but they're also afraid of their freedom being taken away again. Um, so I do feel like whoever this was that did this to him, um, there's still some hidden truths there. Um, but this person feels free of Joshua and maybe the constraints of Joshua.
um, there's still a lot of things being hidden. Um, and there's still some unknowns. And I believe that unknown is the connection with who did this to him. And what connection is with who found him. There's some kind of connection there that's being hidden. Um, and whoever did this to him just wants to be free of all of it. All of it. Um... Did he pass away or when he died, is that the same area as where he was found? Was he found in a place where he died? Or was he maybe brought there? Joshua, where they found your remains, did you die there? Is that the area where your death occurred? Did your death occur where your remains were found? This one wanted to come out and then these three, but let's see these ones first. I'm going to keep them separate from the deck. I got the angels of the seven chakras. Talks about connecting all your senses. Okay. All your chakras from the mind, spoken, oral, your throat chakra, your heart, your stomach, your lowers. <clears throat> Everything's going to come together. Um, there's going to there's there's going to be some something. Okay, something's going to be spoken about this. You see this? Somebody's going to be mad. Somebody's going to be mad because I think the female has told something to a friend who has told somebody else. And I think that this is going to come out. Um, there's connections between a few people here that I'm seeing. I'm seeing this male um, being almost losing his balance and being pushed. I believe that where he was found, I believe he was pushed. I believe he was pushed off something and maybe put. He wasn't he wasn't far from where he died. So I see somebody pushing him or thrown down. And this is off balance here. And then whenever, wherever he landed, I feel like that's where it was finished. Um, and I do believe that there's going to be some truth. Somebody's going to come forward with information regarding this. And I believe it's going to be a female that she was told something. You see, somebody's pretty upset here about this female sharing something she knows. And I've got truth and power connection here. So I do believe that somebody is going to come forward with some information, but let's see what else is here. What else do you want us to know? Mindfulness. Again, you see, again, we get this. Um, I've got the elementals. So which tells me he's out, he was out in the elements, which we do believe. Well, we know that this is true. He was out in the elements, but I do feel that, um, the four elements are what I got to say this the proper way um, for the family, because I don't want to bring out anything, even though it comes out in the cards. I don't want to bring out anything that the family doesn't want out there yet, but the family will understand this. Um, there was 
Okay, we know he was found out in the elements. We actually know exactly where he was found. And there's going to be some things that make sense here. Um, I do believe that... I don't believe he was covered up. So I do believe that the elements degraded his remains. And there's rain, there's sun, there's heat, there's cold. There's also animals and bugs and all kinds of things, the elements. Um, but the elements, I feel, almost like preserved him for a while before other elements took over. Um, he's also saying that his mind is now quiet. Um, he's, he's saying that he never should have forgiven. So whatever this is meaning here, He's talking about he forgave too much, well, in the physical world, but now all is forgiven. He's This is, I believe, for his family. Um, he's on the other side now, free from all pain, worry, hurt, harm. Um, he wants you to know that he's at peace now. But he's also saying that this wouldn't have happened if he hadn't have forgiven so much while well, he was still here in the physical world. So I don't know what was going on in his life that he needed to keep forgiving and have compassion for. Um, he says that there wasn't much compassion given to him or forgiven, but he's saying now that he's quiet. His mind is finally peaceful. He's finally found his quiet place. He wants you to know he's okay. But we're also being told here that elements got to him. Um, Joshua is the police. And I'm going to ask this because... The family wants this question asked. Joshua, are the police covering this up for any reason? Can you please set your your family's mind at peace? They need to know if there is a cover up uh, involving law enforcement. Can you please let us know that? Is there a cover-up from law enforcement? This one wanted to come out. Is law enforcement trying to cover this up for some reason? got these cards in several readings as of late. I did some private reads today and I do have other reads that will be made public at some point in time, but I've recorded quite a few today and this card has come out a lot today. Okay, so you're asking if the police are covering things up. Um, I don't believe they are. And I believe this strongly, that they are not covering it up forever. I do believe that you are having a feeling right now of this being covered up. And are they covering up certain things for now? Yes, but not for the reasons you think. 
there's some things that they know that they need to figure out and connect. And if that is public knowledge, it could ruin the case. This is what I'm getting. I've got releasing everything is difficult. Okay, so releasing the information is going to cause some difficulties. Um, we got the personal guide. Right now, the personal guide giving us this information is Josh. Um, but I feel like it's being guarded. So the truth, the full truth and the evidence comes out as it should. Um, they don't want certain people to flee. Um, they don't want certain people thinking they're being looked at because that's when they're going to make mistakes and they're needing that mistake to be made. I do believe that um, there's certain things that they do know and they are afraid that if others know about that, it may hold back information being given. Don't forget up here, we've got somebody who's about to give some information. So the question you ask is law enforcement involved with a cover up. I don't believe this is a cover up, but I do believe that they are not sharing everything that they know because they are this close and to share that information, even with the family, I believe could wreck this whole thing. Um, I personally see coming out and don't forget, this is entertainment purposes only saying that to cover my behind. Um, this is my interpretation of my cards and what I see and what I'm being given from my cards coming out. Um, somebody made a mistake and talked to somebody and that person I feel is getting ready to come forward. I think that there's been enough pressure and I think the next round of pressure being put on is going to make maybe several people break. Um, I don't, I don't want to, I will give the rest of the information that I'm getting because I don't, I, I don't think that it should be put out there because I don't want this person getting very comfortable. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I don't even know how I can say that without giving it away. I know what the police, I don't think the police even know about this person yet. From what I'm just getting now, I don't think the police know about this person yet. But this person knows and this person is on the verge of speaking. She's already told someone else and I think this is going to be some information that's going to come out but if with regards to another aspect of the case as you guys the family i'm talking to know there's something that they are working on that they cannot share because it could blow up their case if it's not done correctly i don't know why that's being said but this is what i'm getting said but you can look forward to um, this coming out and it's, I'm getting from the depths of hell. Um, so what you are going to learn, it's not going to be easy to hear, but yeah, releasing this right now, it's going to make them very difficult to make an arrest. So I would, I would sit tight, um, have some faith that things happen for a reason and i will let you guys know i'm going to write it down so i don't forget i've got another read to do after this one so i want to get this written down so i don't forget
Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, and I will send the family the private information that I, I don't want to bring out in this because I don't want to compromise anything. And I will let you know what that is. I just wrote it down so I didn't forget because I do have another read to do after this. So that is my read. I hope that this gives a little bit more insight. Um, I would stay focused. Stay focused. I can tell you that right now. Stay focused. It's going to come out. Okay. This is not going to be a cold case. I'm going to tell you that. Okay. So again, if you have liked this read, please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I will put the last read that I did. It will be linked up here somewhere, right up in one of these corners. I will link that. So if you haven't seen that read, you can go back and look at that one. Um, but yeah, I would stay positive. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some upsets, but I'm also seeing a positive outcome. Okay. So that's my read. Until next time, please take care of yourself. Please stay safe. Love you to the moon and back. Bye-bye for now.